Okay, so today we are working on the practice <clears throat> for cylinders. Remember to find your radius and your height first to identify them. So our radius on our first one is three and our height is four. And our formula for lateral area of a cylinder is two pi r h. So two times pi times our radius, which is three times our height, which is four. And two times three times four is 24. So we've got 24 pi feet squared. And our formula for total surface area of a cylinder is two pi r h plus two pi r squared. So again, we're gonna fill in our radius and our height. So two pi times our radius of three times our height of four plus two pi times our radius of three squared. And that gets us 42 pi feet squared for our total surface area. <clears throat> and we want the volume of the cone. Formula is base times height. Remember that the base of a cylinder is pi r squared, so pi r squared times our height. That gives us pi times our radius of three squared times our height of four. And that gets us 36 pi feet cubed because of the volume. So remember if you're typing this into a computer, that volume will be 36. Use PI for pi, FG for feet, the caret symbol for showing that you need your exponent and then the three. <clears throat> Our next one, we have a cylinder with a base area of 25 centimeters squared and a height of three. So we already know our height we need to find our radius. And we know that the area is 25 pi. And remember the formula for area of uh, base of a cylinder is pi r squared. So the pi's cancel out and divide by them and then take the square root. So that means that r is five. Now we can plug our radius and height in and find our lateral surface area. So two times pi times our radius of five times our height, which is three. And that gets us 30 pi centimeters squared. And then we need our total surface area. Remember our formula is two pi r h plus two pi r squared. So plugging it in, two times pi times our radius of five times our height of three plus two times pi pi squared. And that gets us 80 pi centimeter squared. And then we want to find uh, volume. So we've got our formulas of base times area of base times height. Remember the formula for area of base is pi r squared. 
So we've got pi r squared times our height. When we fill that in, it's pi times our radius of five squared times our height, which is three. And that gets us 75 pi centimeters cubed. And the last one on the guide of practice, Abigail has a cylindrical candle mold with the dimensions shown. If Abigail has a rectangular block of wax measuring 15 by 12 by, 7 by 18, how many candles can be made, can she make after melting the block of wax? Okay, so we need to find the volume of the rectangular block. And remember that we can do that just by length times width times height. So 15 times 12 times 18. I mean, that gets us 3,240. Centimeters cubed for the total volume of the block. <coughs> then this figure over here represents the candle. So we need to find the volume for the candle. Remember our formula is area of our base times our height, which is pi r squared times our height. So pi 3.4 squared times our height of six. So that's 69.5. 36 pi centimeters squared for the volume of one candle. So now we're gonna take the volume of our block and divide it by the volume for our candle. And we get 140, no, okay, so this isn't right. We needed to have put parentheses around our base because that pi needs to be in the denominator. And we get 14.8691. Well, we need to know how many candles she can actually make. And she can only actually make 14 candles. 